I'm Anil Kumar and we will understand how to apply systematic trials method to solve equations. Copy the table and use it to solve the equation 2n minus 7 equals to 101. So the method of systematic trial says that you need to estimate a value of n in this case, the variable is n, and then evaluate the expression. If the expression is exactly same, that means we have got the solution. If the expression is not the same, then we need to try the next value so that we come closer and closer to the expected value. So that is the approach. Now we are looking for a value of 101, which should be 2n minus 7. So let us begin with the round number of 50. So in this particular case, make a table as shown here, we'll predict with some numbers that we could get the right result. So the first case is we are taking 50 as a number. Then evaluate the left side. Say two times the number which we have selected, which is 50 in our case. We say two times 50 and then take away 7. What do we get? So we get 100 take away 7. Well, that is 93 and not 101. So we know this is not the right solution we have a low value, right? Since we have a low value, we need a higher number. So next time, we take a number which is higher than 50, correct? So we select a value which is 55. So we'll try for 55 and again calculate. So once you calculate, 2 times 5 is 10 and then you get 11 minus 7. So it is 10 more than the previous value, correct? So 103 is what you get. 103 is just above 101, so we are close, right? So we are very close, but on the positive side. So we need to get a number which is slightly lower than 55, and 54 is a good estimate, right? So we can check for 54 this time and see what do we get. So what we get here is 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 times 5 is 10. So 108 minus 7 is indeed 101 and that is correct, right? So we get the correct answer. So if you get the correct answer, you say, well, n is equals to 54. That is the solution. So that is how you can solve an equation using systematic trials method. Thank you.